Have you ever wondered how to communicate with your higher self and alter your future? Let's begin by unlocking the concept of the higher self. Imagine a version of you that's enlightened, more aware, a version that exists on a higher plane of consciousness. This is what we refer to as the higher self. It's not some mystical entity outside of you, but rather it's the purest, most authentic essence of you. It is the you that sees beyond the daily grind, beyond the mundane problems, beyond the limitations of the physical world. This higher self is like a wise mentor, always ready to provide guidance and clarity. It gives you a perspective that's broader, deeper, and more aligned with your true purpose. This is the part of you that whispers when you're about to make a decision, nudging you towards paths that bring growth, fulfillment, and joy. Think about the moments when you felt an inexplicable intuition, a gut feeling that guided your actions. That's your higher self speaking. It's the voice that encourages you when you doubt, that celebrates your triumphs, and that offers comfort in times of distress. But how do we tap into this font of wisdom and insight? How do we start a dialogue with this enlightened part of ourselves? The answer lies in the art of intention setting, meditation, and visualization. It involves creating a mental and emotional bridge from where you currently stand to the higher plane where your higher self resides. Remember, your higher self isn't a distant, unreachable figure, it's you. Just a version of you that sees the bigger picture, that understands your life's blueprint, that knows which choices will lead you to your highest good. Communicating with your higher self isn't about seeking external validation or asking for magical solutions. It's about tuning in, listening, and aligning with the part of you that knows your worth, your potential, your path. Now let's delve into the process of communicating with this higher self. We'll explore how to establish this connection, how to recognize the messages from your higher self, and how to incorporate this wisdom into your everyday life. Because when you start to live in alignment with your higher self, you unlock a life of greater purpose, fulfillment, and joy. First things first, we need to conduct a thorough self-assessment. Now this might sound daunting, but it's an essential step in our journey. It's about looking inward, peeling back the layers of our thoughts, emotions, and behaviors and identifying areas that need change. Think of it as a house cleaning for the soul. It's about taking stock of what's working, what's not, and what needs to be discarded. It's about getting real with yourself, acknowledging your strengths, but more importantly, recognizing your limitations and the thought patterns that might be holding you back. You see, these limitations and patterns aren't just roadblocks on our path to personal growth. They're like the architects of our reality. They shape our perceptions, influence our decisions, and ultimately determine our life's trajectory. So it's crucial to identify these limiting beliefs and thought patterns to understand how they're influencing our reality. But how do we do this? It starts with self-awareness. Pay attention to your thoughts, feelings, and reactions. Notice patterns in your behavior. Are there recurring themes in your life that seem to be holding you back? Are there beliefs that you've outgrown or patterns that no longer serve you? This process might be uncomfortable, but it's necessary for growth. It's like pruning a plant. You have to remove the dead leaves and branches to make room for new growth. Similarly, by identifying and letting go of these limitations, we make space for our higher self to emerge. But remember, self-assessment isn't about self-judgment. It's about understanding ourselves better, acknowledging our humanness and embracing our potential for change. It's about cultivating compassion for ourselves, even as we strive to grow and evolve. This process of self-assessment is transformative. It's like turning on a light in a dark room. Suddenly you see things as they really are, not as you thought they were. And with this new clarity, you're better equipped to make aligned decisions and take meaningful steps towards personal transformation. With self-assessment done, we're ready to build a bridge to our higher consciousness. Now, we're prepared to connect with our higher self, to tap into that reservoir of wisdom and clarity, and to set the stage for quantum jumps towards our envisioned future. So, let's dive in. The next step on this journey is establishing communication with your higher self. Imagine your higher self as an enlightened version of you, existing on a higher plane of consciousness, brimming with wisdom and guidance. 
To connect with this version of yourself, you need to set a clear intention. This is not just a fleeting thought, but a deep, heartfelt desire. Express your intention to establish a connection with your higher self. It's like dialing a number on a cosmic phone, reaching out to your own source of wisdom and clarity. Once your intention is set, it's time to build a mental and emotional bridge to your higher self. This bridge is built through the practice of meditation and visualization. As you meditate, let your thoughts quiet down. Envision your consciousness rising, crossing the bridge you've built towards your higher self. Let the calmness wash over you and in this tranquil state, you create a space for communication to flow. The dialogue with your higher self may not be in the form of words. It could manifest as feelings, images, or insights. You may experience a sudden clarity, a sense of understanding, or an inexplicable emotion. These are messages from your higher self, offering guidance and clarity beyond everyday concerns. It's like a whisper in the wind, a gentle nudge in the right direction, a sudden spark of inspiration. Pay attention to these signs. They are not random occurrences, but meaningful messages from your higher self. They guide you towards making aligned decisions and following a fulfilling life path, reminding you of who you truly are and what you're capable of achieving. Remember, the connection with your higher self is not a one-time event. It's an ongoing process, a dialogue that continues as long as you're willing to listen. The more you communicate, the clearer the messages become and the deeper the understanding you gain. With a clear channel to your higher self, we're ready to leap into the quantum field. This leap is not just a metaphorical one. It's a leap of faith, a leap of courage, a leap towards a future that aligns with your highest potential. So, ready to take the leap? Now, get ready to make the jump, the quantum jump, that is. Let's delve into the fascinating realm of quantum jumping. Picture this, a universe brimming with countless realities, each one a potential future for you. Sounds like science fiction, right? But in fact, it's a concept rooted in quantum physics. Each of these realities represents a different version of your life, shaped by varying choices and experiences. Quantum jumping is the practice of aligning with and stepping into these alternate realities. It's not about simply dreaming of a different future. It's about fully immersing yourself in the vision of the life you desire, feeling it in your bones and in your soul. So. How do we make this quantum leap? The first step is to create a clear and vivid mental image of your desired future. What does it look like? What does it feel like? Who are you in this reality? The more specific and detailed your vision, the more powerful your quantum jump will be. Now here's where the magic happens. You must then imbue this mental image with intense emotional energy. Why? Because emotion is the language of the universe. It's the energy that fuels your jump into a new reality. So feel the joy, the excitement, the fulfillment of living in your desired reality as if it's already happening. This is not mere daydreaming. This is active participation in shaping your reality. As you embody the traits and behaviors of your higher self in this envisioned future, you start to make choices and take actions that mirror this new reality. Quantum jumping isn't a one-time event, it's an ongoing practice. Each jump brings you closer to the reality you desire, each step a testament to your power to shape your own destiny. So take a deep breath and make the jump. Embrace the exhilarating uncertainty of the leap and trust in your ability to land in a reality that resonates with your higher self. After the quantum jump, it's time to integrate the changes into your everyday life. The journey doesn't end with the quantum jump, it's just the beginning. This statement encapsulates an essential truth about your transformative journey. It's a process of continuous growth and evolution, not a one-time event. Once you've tapped into your higher self and made the leap into your desired reality, the real work begins. It's time to integrate and grow. Integration is about weaving the insights and changes gleaned from communication with your higher self and quantum, jumping into the fabric of your daily life. It's about taking those profound realizations, those glimpses of a more enlightened, more aware version of yourself, and making them part of your everyday reality. This is not always an easy task, but it's a vital one. Why? Because the real power of connecting with your higher self and quantum jumping lies in their potential to transform not just your thoughts and feelings, but your actions and behaviors. 
They provide the tools and insights to help you align your life with your highest potential, your true path. But it's up to you to use those tools, to take those insights and apply them consistently in your life. Continuous growth is about recognizing that this journey is ongoing. It's about understanding that there will always be new insights to gain, new challenges to overcome, new realities to envision and embody. It's about embracing the process of self-discovery and evolution and making a commitment to keep learning, keep growing, keep pushing the boundaries of what you think is possible. This journey requires dedication. It requires mindfulness. It requires a willingness to look within, to confront your limitations, to strive for your highest potential. But above all, it requires a commitment to yourself, to your growth, to your evolution. So, as you embark on this journey of connecting with your higher self and quantum jumping, remember to stay open, stay curious, stay committed, because the real magic happens in the process, in the journey, not just in the destination. Remember, this journey of connecting with your higher self and quantum jumping is ongoing, requiring dedication, mindfulness, and a commitment to self-discovery and evolution. Trust the process and remain open to the wisdom and guidance of your higher self.